A skull boat. Nice. Skull boat. Skull boat like lambs. Uh, sheep. <laughs> no, man, surely not. It's not that. <laughs> <laughs> A lamb ass. What's a leg of lamb? A lamb ass. A leg of lamb, dude. Sorry, leg of lamb. That's much better, yeah. Leg of lamb. What's up everyone? Welcome back to Don't Tell Mom, the food and drink show. We are at Tiger's Milk in Kloof Street, specifically within the clubhouse. Incredible little location. We've actually thrown a private adventure before, had a ball of a time, so decided to come back with two very special guests. My dad is still here, although as you would have seen in the intro, he's in the kitchen cooking for the guests that we are having on today, which is Evan Roos and JJ Kutsia. Evan, JJ, thank you so much for coming in today. Lekker. Nice to meet you. Everyone's like, yo, yo. Did I say it right? No. It's, <laughs> wh wait, what's that? Didn't I say it right? I'm so sorry. What is it? Kotze. Kotze. Yeah. And JJ Kotze. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what is, what is, what is JJ's? It's Jean? Jean-Jacques. Jean-Jacques. Yeah. And Jean-Jacques Kotze. Yeah. Let's do it. So uh, we're drinking Tiger's Milk Light because it's very, very low calorie. Nice. And obviously you guys just came from training and you guys were training to do. Yeah. So we kept it light, but we will taste test all three. Yeah. So we'll do the Tiger's Milk Light, Tiger's Milk Lager, and the Part Wolf. And then you guys kind of just decide which you prefer. So Perfect. cheers, thank you for coming cheers. in. Yeah, thank you so much, appreciate having you guys here. Um, every episode we do do a down down and a tequila okay let's see i'm bad at downing how are you i'm not i don't know you play <laughs> rugby so you're probably pretty good it's not a brana vein though so like it might be a bit no, of a challenge no there's no ice makes it okay. difficult cheers yeah yeah i wouldn't how <laughs> good effort though. Oh, thank you yeah. evan thank you Efforts all that counts. Still, still lost. Was that my best one? Because I felt the pressure from him. Like, yeah. Yeah. Shh, shh, shh. I don't think you should do it alone anymore. You need that. You need something to chase. You know? Yeah, exactly. You need someone to keep it competitive. Mm. Um, before we get into some questions, I want to ask you guys some breakdowns, specifically within beer and kind of the environment that you guys work and play in. Um, but I'll break it down for you. What we're going to be having for starters. We doing all the versions of chicken wings that they have. We figured chicken wings and beers is the perfect kind of starter for just a room full of dudes, mm -hmm. um, apart from all the females yeah. in the rest of the room. <laughs> um, so the chicken wings, the tiger's milk, there's a sticky barbecue option, there's a southern fried option, and a crunchy peri-peri. Yeah, so you guys tuck in, I don't know which one you want to do first. <coughs> I have had the Peri Peri, they're incredible. Um, go for it. You guys We're all going in, for I'll the same one well. at the same time. Then we can... Yeah. Good call. Then we can Good call. I do want to kind of like figure out which one is your favorite. Mm. Um, anytime a chicken wing's like super mm -hmm. crunchy, that's usually my favorite. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm kind of in on the crunch. Yeah. Um, exactly. I'll tuck into one. I'll do the same one Can as well. Pa. Let's do it. Pa, pa, pa. Let's do it. No, very good. Mm. Yeah, I wanted like a crunchy outside, nice mm. and tender inside. The sauce is like that. Oh, is this yeah, sauce, the sauce good? Is good. Yeah. I'm going without a plate. So do you want a plate? Do you want a plate? I stepped in and risked it all. Yes, please. <laughs> um, so, oh, these are fire. Mm. Mm. Proper That's fire. Oh, I, like I want all that skin. Mm. It's like basically. There you, you go. You can't say that. Yeah. It's like a other fried chicken oh, restaurant, sorry. but better. Hey, like JJ's better. in. <laughs> JJ's in. Talk, sorry. Yeah. Whoopsie. <laughs> um, I want to ask you guys, while we're in on starters, obviously the environment of like being a rugby player comes with a lot of like 
training, eating very specific, you know, being on schedule, being on diet kind of thing. Um, what is your like go to cheat meal of like now it doesn't matter can eat whatever it is that i want what would be your go-to are you a pizza guy a burger guy what's your what's your swing what's your mm. take your time it's fine it depends it depends no that's a good answer it, it but it's not a, it's no, a, it's a shit there's answer. no information <laughs> but it's a good answer it's a good answer that doesn't get any information <laughs> It depends. Okay, oh, cool. Next question. It does. It's like, um, what, you, like if, what, what you're less for. Like, if, if, if you're in the mood for a pizza, uh, then it's... Yeah, but like, good. you know those pizzas that like, yeah. it make an Italian cry. Like, there you go. But like, just loads Touching of meat. Touching salt. But loads yeah. of meat. Everything. Like caramelized onions. Like, oh. like a pizza that's basically... It's, it's more it's toppings a, than anything else. There you else, go. Those there you go. Yeah. Like, like, when when, you, when you have to pick it up, like a slice up yeah, with two hands. You, if you pick up the crust, the, the pizza just stays on the plate. Yeah. There you go. That one just the yeah. Yeah. When you When you go home to go see your family, mm -hmm. every family has like a list of meals that they make. So like for us at home, my mom makes a chorizo pasta that is like... If my mom phoned me now and she was like, tonight we're having chorizo pasta, I'm staying at home tonight. Mm. Like it's a fire, fire pasta. Mm. What is the first meal that comes to mind for you when you think of home cooking with your family? I'm actually having that tomorrow night with my family. Ooh. <laughs> Scar boat. Nice. Scar boat? Scar boat, like lamb's ass. <laughs> no man, surely not, it's <laughs> not that. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> A lamb ass. <laughs> What's a leg of lamb? A lamb ass. A leg of lamb, dude. Leg of, leg of lamb. lamb. That's much better, yeah. Leg of lamb. I translate it directly, but leg of lamb. Is that a what lamb it is directly? Ass. A lamb's boat. Yeah, a lamb's boat. Boat. But then I just no, went like a directly like a and butt. I said lamb's ass. Lamb's, actually, lamb's lamb. boat. Lamb's boat. Lamb's boat. Yeah. boat is like a butt. Boat is like... That's and he just ass. thought it was a lamb's ass. Oh, I see. You went direct translation. So you were just... You, before that, really, you were just out there eating lamb ass. Yeah, Like yeah, you yeah. thought in your brain, you're eating yeah. lamb yeah. ass. Strike. Your Afrikaans brain was going, Sorry. oh, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, leg, yeah. leg of lamb. Leg of lamb. Just kind of slip the mind for a minute. Like a stewy kind of leg yeah, of lamb? Like it sits in the oven for like the whole day. It's so soft and with nice rice and the gravy. That's, no, that's the, the best. best. That's My mom the best. makes the best. Then is I it, okay, is it your mom that makes it? Then I drive all the way to Paul. From for for leg of lamb, okay. I was gonna wonder if it's like pa of ma, mm. like pa in the oven, like the the leg of lamb in the oven. Okay. And my mom does the rice and the oh, salad. Oh, she does all the nice little spicy on the side. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Okay. Amazing. And for you, that's very fancy. Is um, that very fancy? Uh, Are you gonna say braai? No, we do. That was like a normal, like the braai is like Stand. we used it more than the oven basically yeah. at ours, yeah. but like. My mom makes this pasta. We just used to call it the peanut butter pasta. Because it's what? like, you know, like, like, a, like a chicken, like a satay, like peanut satay mm. type thing. Like a Vietnamese. Yeah, pie. it's okay. like that. Like chicken, peanut sauce. Um, oh. It's very nice. No, Dude, like comfort food. Is it a chicken <laughs> pasta that's yeah. got that element to it? Chicken pasta, basically. That's with, phenomenal. I think she makes it with peanut butter, actually. Oh, like that's phenomenal. Part of the sauce. Yep. So, again, made by your mom. Yeah. See, moms yeah. make fire meals. Yeah. That's the thing. So, obviously, the name of the show being Don't Tell Mom was an inside joke between my dad and I of hiding, like, cigarettes in a boot in the garage and, like, small call, like, a scalamanchi around the corner, you know, every now and then, or, like, how many beers did you have? Two when we actually had seven, like... <laughs> and it was... The, the, the concept of, like, what mom doesn't know won't hurt her, except my mom is a lot more switched on. So she knows exactly how many beers you've had, she knows where you've been, she knows what you said and did before you even say it. Mm. What, for you, looking at your childhood, looking at your upbringing, what is your, like, don't tell mom moment? Um... I don't know if I should like. Tell the story. <laughs> yeah, but she, <laughs> okay, I, I, think, I think she knows about it now. But there was like a day. I, I think I was like. How old was I? Like eight. So I was like small. Wow. Okay. And then, like, it was just me and my dad at home um, for like the whole weekend. 
So then I had like a, you know, like a Vinbox, like yes. an air rifle. Yes. And then we just like started doing some target practice in the backyard, you know, just shooting some things. Then we're done and I come back and come back inside. Now I'm sitting on the couch and all of a sudden my dad comes out and he's like, Kum, you no kum, you no kum. I'm like, what, what, is, what is going on? Like, yeah. And then I run and then we go into their like, they have like a, their bedroom and like an ensuite. And my dad's standing in the bathtub because <laughs> there's a window next to the bathtub. He's standing okay. in the bathtub, looking out the window. He's like, kum. And I just see the air rifle there in the bath, chilling against the wall. Like, oh, what is no, going on it's time. And there's like a little, like a pigeon outside in the, and in the, the, in the garden. He's like, kum, kum, kum. And then I get, I'm in the bath, through the window of the, like, out in the tain, there outside in the backyard. Yeah. What a club this pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> and did you? Yeah. <laughs> and mom, mom never ever found out that you had to plug not, this pigeon? Not until, like, I think maybe a few years ago. There you go. Yeah. If, am I, am I right in saying, like, I don't know if it's an Afrikaans thing or a South African thing, but there's this, like, coming of age story that you hear often of, like, we're gonna go out and skit and dawn or something. There's like the shoot the buck mm. in the wild and then you know everyone takes a photo with it kind of thing. There's this like weird cultural element to it of like shooting something. And I feel like at eight years old, that was your cultural yeah, moment probably. of like, hey dad, I'm stepping up, shoot a pigeon. Yeah, I, yeah. Feel, uh, I feel like it's that old, like almost like that primal instinct, like you. Yeah, you're hunting something, yeah. but you're like just oh, standing mother's. in a bathtub. Yeah. It's a perfect story while you're eating chicken in your backyard. Yeah. But it's like the vibe around it, I think. Yeah. Mainly. yeah. The pigeon's like a town chicken. Mm. Yeah. Urban it's like chicken. a plus bird and then a town bird. There you go. Yeah, urban chicken. Same Basically. thing. Urban chicken. There we go. I can like fingers and mouths. Thank you so much. Oh, you have an entire have, collection of serviettes I there. I have eight. Don't worry. What's a serviette in Afrikaans? Surfet. Really? Mm. A surfet? A yammer lappi. Daughter show surfet. A yammer lappi. I've never heard that actually. That was always like in the. No, yeah, it's like. No, like like if you, if you a make mess a mess. Lappi. I've like, heard that. I've actually just heard lappi. No, if you no, make a mess. Lappi, yeah. If you make a lappi. mess, it's a yammer lappi. A yammer yeah. lappi. Like, well, shit, yammer, and you like clean it. <laughs> or you mess on your shit, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there we go. What is your don't tell mom moment? Um, I was about 12 or 13. And um, I had a friend who was like sports crazy and we used to play cricket in his garage. <laughs> and his uh, house was like, let's say it was here and it was a circle. And we always... Don't move. Aww. Thank you. Cute. Got Very you. Cute. And, How's that for love? And <laughs> I'll teach you guys a thing about friendship. Okay. And um, <laughs> we, like, we used to put the wickets in the garage and then just bowl them. And they had this like very expensive the Mercedes like a very expensive car uh -huh. and he did, they had no regard he just like kept on like hitting it leg side into this car and I told him we're gonna hit it we're gonna hit the window out we can't Surely. We have to stop where's the keys <laughs> and then no, okay because I just started learning to drive my dad just started learning to drive and then I climbed in the car and I backed out first of all like I don't know how the, the gears work because one of those gears are on the side. So like it's like a wiper, like you know some cars gears aren't like in the middle, yes. like on the side. You have to go up yes. on the side, but the side was there. So it took me about ten minutes to find out how to reserve, uh, reverse. <laughs> reversed out, and as soon as I reversed, this car came around. He was like kind of honking and like rushing me because I was taking ages, and I panicked. And I just drove, and I drove like around the block, and I was like, okay, this is cool, and I was like, Hey, you've waxed it, yeah. Twelve years old driving around the block and it's a, obviously it's a circle so it comes in four ways and I'm driving around the block and my friend's running up behind me I stop the car he jumps in now we're both driving <laughs> <laughs> and we get to the circle on this side and here you know, his mom and dad come from this side back doing groceries and they look at me and I look at them and they look at me and I just see the dad go what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> and you're like they're going and I swear that's our car and they yeah. look at me and I flashed him to go <laughs> It's your turn, move. And, uh, <laughs> and I'm actually supposed to drive because I'm on the right hand side. So obviously 12 years old, didn't know the rules yet. And they go and I park next to them. And now I sit in the car for like 10 minutes. And the dummy is shouting at me and I can't figure out how to park. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, fuck, okay. And I go and I go and eventually I park it. And I climb the car and as soon as I climb the car, she has her block you off and she starts to look at me. And this is someone else's mom? Yeah, but we like, 
Could be my aunt. Okay, like so this was like a foreign hiding. Yeah, 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 yeah. Down in. She's yeah, Afrikaans. Yeah, Afrikaans. Into the house, like I'm, I started running away, and I said I'm sorry and I cried, and then I get she gave me a hug and I was like, this stays between us. Yeah. And she's like, cool. And me and my dad went to go play golf the next day, and I told yeah. them the story, and uh, we finished, and I went to the bathroom. As soon as I got back, my mom just said, what the fuck. And then my really? dad split me on my mom, but my dad and my mom tell each other everything. So, from ah. there, so that's a story where I told my dad, don't tell mom. He told her immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Sold you out. Straight. Thanks, dad. Who, yeah. who, who would you say, who would you say that you're more scared of, your mom or your dad? No. Dad? Dad. Yeah. Oh. No, that, that line. Yeah. Just wait till your dad gets home. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude. That is terrifying. Yeah. That it's is terrifying. terrifying. I used to, I used to write my dad sorry letters. <laughs> so, so yeah. See, this is an English household. Oh, fair so, enough. So, I'd get in trouble at school, and then I'd come home, and my mom would be like, "Dad's coming home from work." So I'd write, "Hey, Dad, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I did such and such be because of such and such," and I'd leave it on the kitchen counter. I had a double bunk and I used to get onto the top bed and hide in the corner of the top bed and wait for him to come home and watch the door. <laughs> and as soon as the door opened, I'd go like, hey, whew, was my sorry letter solid enough that he walk in feel, like feeling, you know, like bad for me? That's English. You know what happens in an Afrikaans household? When, when sorry you, letter when, for nothing. No, you don't get a, you don't even get a, you don't do letters. You, you don't, don't get a chance to do letters. Really? If you hear that line, <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, wait, flashbacks. wait till your dad gets home, then you run to your room. Stop crying. Take off your pants, put on three pairs of underpants, put on your jeans, because they're the thickest pants, yeah. and you go sit and you wait. Yeah. That's all you do. Uh, they you told wait. Me to take off the jeans and the underpants and just wear what I was wearing before. Yeah. Yeah. What, what you did, <laughs> the, what you like, did it in, you're yeah. getting a hiding after, in. After yep. the third time, they're like, catch on. They're like, yeah. you yeah. come out looking stocky. Like, yeah. in a day, like, dude, Look like you're going to the what moon. Are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Walking like. Yeah. Bringing it back to food, favorite chicken wing. Are you going solid southern fried? I love I love so, like the skin on the southern fried and this one, but this one's flavor actually got me. The really? Barbecue. Yeah. Without I'm the crisp and crisp and mm, actually you need the crispy. I'm going peri peri. Are you crispy? Peri peri. Peri peri. Rate them out of ten. Ooh. All three. Rate them out of ten. Can we just say ten across the board and then everyone in here loves us? Mm -hmm. Does that count? Nine and a half. Nine and a half. Ten. Well played. Mm. I love that. Well played. Nine and a half. Nine and a half. Ten. Eight, nine, ten. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm going to no go ten, ten, ten. Ten, ten, ten. ten. Okay. <laughs> wow. wow. Yeah, okay. Phenomenal. You can come back. Yeah, yeah. No, genuine. <laughs> my favorite, like, southern fried. Also, because I think I haven't had, like, fried chicken in such a long time. Mm. Mm. But the ones on the end make me think of like chicken wings at home like off the braai yeah. mm. and that's solid and then the peri peri i cannot do chili i really struggle with chili like even this for me like i can oh, really? feel really? No, but, like a, oh, yeah. really but nice. are you are you fine I with chili like hot things, yeah. see i can do like wasabi and that's me oh no yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. like tabasco pushing it <laughs> um so this is nice because it's hot and it like burns, but it's not so hot that I'm constantly having to drink water or beer. Mm. Um, so I can kind of savor it as I go, a little bit of burn, which I enjoy. But um, solid. Do you want to try the different beers? Uh, yeah, this beer. You want me to down this beer? Oh, this is a lager now. This is this lager? Yeah. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> This is a yeah, lager. No. Yeah, yeah. In case you're wondering. I have to say it tastes different yeah. there. Yeah, there you go. It does taste like thicker, if that makes any sense. Mm. We've had this conversation with Malcolm and Stephen before about what their favorite beer moment is in life. And I've mentioned that my three top beers is a shower beer. Just when you're getting ready to go out, you're in the shower, you turn the shower like a little bit cooler. So you're like getting clean, but you're also cooling yourself down before you got to go out, beer in the shower, keep it in your little like, you know, when your lady's got all her soaps and face cases. things and whatever, you just stick your beer in there. Yeah. There you go. Next um, to the conditioner. Right. Next to the conditioner and, 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 and. Between the conditioner and the shower. All of a sudden you, you got go. beer in It's a perfect little confused. balance right there. It holds it nice and fuss, you know. <laughs> mm. uh, second is an airport beer. 
because time doesn't exist in an airport, mm. so there's nothing better than an ice cold beer in an airport. You don't know what the time of day it is. Fair enough. And then third would be if we go on a road trip, like here to Langebon, and you arrive in Langebon, before you even take the bags out the car, mm. your mm. mate cracks a cold beer, mm. and you sip that cold beer to be like, this is starting my weekend away. Mm. What is your beer moment? Dude, like probably similar to the road trip one because mm. like I love camping so like you drive the whole day nice scenic everything stop next to the stop in the, like one of those picnic areas make a coffee get in the car keep driving you get to the campsite get there check it out because we have this rule as soon as you get there you start setting up yeah you, like set up your tent do everything you need to do yeah light the fire you know, like a... Oh, I like, like that you put like that a, in there. Not yeah. like... It's it's like four. It's We're a, not going to bright till eight. But the KF fire has to be there. Mm. You know what I mean? It's a KF feature. Atmosfire. Atmosphere. 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 There I love we go. It. Exactly. <laughs> you light the fire and then open your camping chair. Open the, the freezer box. Take it out. That beer. That like sits in the All day in the car. Just finished setting up your whole campsite. Fire just started burning like a... And you go sit. That's solid. That beer. That's solid. That's a That's good beer. That's solid. Mm. I like wow. that. I like that. The camping element. The camping beer. And you're outside. Sun oh, is shining. Weather's nice. You know. Yeah. Yeah. There's just so many yeah. things just making it better. And the whole drive, all you're thinking about is that moment. And I was like, like, I can't like, wait to finish. Seven, I don't have to be camp. driving a car anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't wait to finish that thing. Can't wait. What's your What's your go-to like place to camp? Cedarburg. Cedarburg. Yeah. That's like, like hours of driving, eh? No, it's like two hours. Two from, hours? From Cape Town, two hours, two and a half. Okay. I like. So you've got two and a half hours yeah. to think about a nice cold beer. Dude, you can, you can sit with your thoughts for you two and a half hours. You can do a lot hours. for two and a half hours. You can hours. do a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of foreplay before the actual moment, mm. you know? You've got to yeah, like yeah, build yeah. some suspense. You, you have like to. Yeah, it just makes it that much better, yeah. Yes, I almost made a bad pun. Yours? <coughs> I, I hate camping, so I'll never have a camping beer. Loser. Are, you, are you not a camping boy, Keith? No, I, I like to sleep in a bed in a house. Like, I'm not okay. an animal. Or wild. It's a Willy's bed. Fair. Uh, Willy's barber. I don't know. I'm a Willy's, a Willy's baby. barber. Yeah. A Willy's yeah? baby. I fucking like camping. Anyway. Um, no, my favorite one is like, it has to be a Friday afternoon. Either we're going to mates for a braai or sitting like in a tiger's mm-hmm. but like an outdoor area. That first ice cold beer, especially in the summer. Just sitting down. Yeah, a long week. Yeah, I'm just having an ice cold beer. It's like a chopping down on the side. Right. Yeah. yeah, so hot outside, your beer yeah. sweating. sweating. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that the like sun is shining. You're just sitting there looking at Table Mountain all way. Oh, it's just like, yeah. Dude, this makes me so excited for the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> when you when when you've walked in and you've said hi to all your mates. Yeah. Everyone said hi. Mm. And then that moment comes. Sit down. Wait till please can I have a beer? Tiger's more light. There you go. Comes, and then it's. What's that? Whoop cooler. Whoop cooler. Whoop cooler. Hang on. Uh, like, you know, like when you have a bra and you like getting the coals underneath and you leave them there a bit? Yes. Uh, but you need a bit more heat. Yes. So that's like the party. Like, it's no, just starting. Sure. You need some heat. Need some so heat then you, you start yeah. like moving it's the coals like around. An actual so you're term. Opening yeah. up the coals. Whoop cooler. Whoop cooler. Whoop cooler. So now it's going to get hot. Party's heating up. Now it's heating up. Party's heating up. Oh, yeah. so that first delivery of, of, yeah. of Beza is your. Whoop no. cooler. We're so, improving your Afrikaans here today. Yeah. I'm learning. Whoop cooler. There you go. We're getting there it. you go. Wait, there was lamb's ass. Lam- yeah, lamb's scoboat. ass? Scoboat. Scoboat. Lamb's ass. Scoboat. I learned scoboat. Yammer lappy. Whoop cooler. Whoop cooler. You have to have the whoop cooler. Whoop cooler. There we go. So, JJ, you're doing yeah. the Libre. Yes. Which is a brioche burger bun. Lamb burger patty topped with Emmental cheese, sliced jalapenos, corn chips, and chimichurri salsa. Yeah. Evan is doing the double cheese, two beef patties, secret housemade sauce, two slices of cheese, crispy onions, and garlic aioli. There's a word again. Secret housemade sauce. I'm doing the ultimate bomb burger. The ultimate burger, beef patty, crispy bacon, two fried eggs, hollandaise sauce, chipotle aioli, malted cheddar, and caramelized onions served with loaded fries. JJ's is the smallest by size, 
but he's got that brioche bun. You know what I mean? Quality over quantity. Mm. That brioche bun is fire. That brioche bun is fire. You went with double meat. Mm. So I love that there's some crispy onion in there for like a crisp and element. Yeah. It's always the thing, you've got to get like the meat to bun ratio. Yeah. It has to and be that's right. important. Amish exactly. Ratio. Like if you miss that, then the whole thing like it, it, it gets tough. Yeah. Oh, dude, like I, the I, bun I, couldn't I, even be there. No. You know I, mean? I just went ham on this burger here. There's also loaded fries. You got to, guys got to try Doritos? some loaded fries. It's like. I don't sure. <laughs> Not Doritos on this burger. Yeah. Nacho chips. Nachos. Like a, like a nacho chip. That's cool. Yeah. Okay, you guys tuck in first. Go for it. Juicy. How do we thing. approach? However you want. Okay. Oh, you're going to remove burger, said burger patty. Because. Burger to bun ratio. Sure. I just. Exactly. You know what I mean? Just had that chat. And but the thing you, is, you could you could split bun and split patties. Have like an open sandwich. And then there's, there's enough onion on there that you could mm. fill both. Exactly. Load some fries in too. Just do it like that. There you go. That's perfect. Okay. I'm not even down. I'm paying attention to what you're eating. I don't know how I'm gonna get through this. <coughs> this burger's huge. Sorry guys, struggling. Okay. Are you also chunking it off? Okay. I'm gonna do that, yeah. I have to do the same then. I think it's the easier. Oh. Yes, yes. Okay. I might throw some loaded fries on there as well. Yo. There you go. Okay. Was that one bite in? Mm. No good. You're my tantum. Chum. I can scrub one. And uh huh. Dude, this is good. Mm. I'm so impressed with the size of your bites. Fuck, well, he's like doing rehab on his jaw. He's so. post jaw surgery, so I'm rehabbing this thing. That's ah, got a, you got to give it. He's got a reinforced the, jaw. There you so, go. Two plates, boom. <laughs> if his bite okay. was small, it would have been an insult to his surgeon. Yeah, you know there what you mean? go. Like, Surgeons watching this going bite properly. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Can I can I can I borrow your knife? Knife. Yeah. Thank you. Knife. Thank you. Wait, where's the this is good. Ayers, yeah. I'm gonna cut right through the middle of these bitches. It's fucking good. <laughs> it's really big. Yes, yes. <laughs> Jeez, I, I was way ahead of myself Sorry, ordering this. Too. This is huge. That okay. is big. You need a machete to cut that. Literally. I gotta get violent with it. Okay. How like is this? This is not a cut tool. Sit and eat burgers and chat shit. No. <laughs> but sometimes, like, yo, it's not a bad job. We okay. made the wrong career choice. Mm. I mean, well, well, now that we're doing this, I'm like, yeah, this is dope. Mm. But like playing professional rugby. Oh, it's also nice. That's Super dope. Awesome. Super dope. Awesome. No. no, sometimes I think rugby players are sometimes a bit spoiled. Mm. What? Like sometimes I, like, like uh, tomorrow, Friday, like we have off. Like, mm. I don't think there's a job where you just have an off day in the middle of the week. Like completely, you don't have to go into the office. Like our Wednesday, our uh, Thursday, sorry, or like completely off. You don't have to go in anywhere. You can just sleep, sleep all day if you want to. Like where? No, but that's not because you need it probably. Exactly, but where do you get a job where you can just have a the middle of the week off day? No, but I like, still get paid for that day. Accountants aren't having like a, 300 pound man mm, mm. kick them in the head every Saturday oh, like you guys take a lot more physical beating than most people oh that's true but I feel like if you take like another example let's say like traveling yeah like we you can say we get to travel which is obviously very nice like mm. but <clears throat> on the other side everything gets done for you mm. like you just have to pitch up at the visa appointment yeah. to sign a paper like, really? But the appointment's made for you, you just go at this time, your flights are booked for you, you just have mm. to pitch up at the airport. So, I feel like when you're not playing and you want to travel, you're like, oh wow. Like, yeah. Let's say like 80% of players are going to be like, what do I do now? Yeah. I see. I'm at the airport, I where see. do I get my ticket? <laughs> like, mm. Can you recall the moment of being told, hey, this dream that you've had is about to become a reality and that moment of your family kind of taking it in being like holy shit our son's about to like play some high level sport i think like because in my 
because I got I got contracted out of school. Mm. So like at the end of my matric year, we had like a meeting at my parents' house with like my agent and like some of the um, Stormers guys. Yeah, some of the Stormers guys that were like in charge at that time. Mm. Um, and I think like that, like the, the conversation that night, I think because as soon as they left, like my, me and my parents had a, like a very nice chat and mm. like, that was like, I feel like that was kind of the moment where they also realized like, listen, this is going to be a career now. Like, yeah. We're so proud of you. This and this and this. Mm. Keep working. Mm. We're going to be here to support you. Just know if you want to, if there's any like problems or anything. I feel like that was the night. So yeah. prob like that's like five years ago now already. Jeez, like um, but yeah, that's most probably like the moment where it got real. Yeah. If you, if yeah. you know what I mean. The whole family having to take this on together, being like, okay, yeah. we're going to walk this with you. Yeah. 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 And for yourself? Same, but like if I, because I went, I obviously did a little stint in Durban for two years after school. Mm. Um, but I came back, I missed them too much. Mm. And um. Oh. No, well, we, we've spoken about it before. Mm. But um. You said it wasn't the same without your family there. That's yeah. the thing, yeah. Mm. And then I kind of it kicked in when I signed my first contract at the Stormers, and I was like, okay, now it's actually perfect. Yeah. I'm playing rugby where my family is. In a city as beautiful as Cape Town, yeah, that quickly became my home because I'm originally from here. And um, like jogging out, I don't know if if it feels like people jogging out and like seeing this mass of people, like that kind of like oh okay, shit, that's insane. Is, eh? You dreamed about this when you were younger, and now you're actually on the field. Like, yeah. So it, it hits me every weekend about that. Really? Like shit, this is actually a cool career. Is there is there a moment like in gameplay? Where you've got to switch from seeing this crowd going, oh my word, I'm, I'm doing the thing, I'm doing the thing, to kind of zoning in and playing the game and turning it into the physicality that it is. Or are you like the whole game going like, this is insane, this is insane. He's super chill for games, I'm a bit more serious. Mm, I can't, like, I feel like, because I've, I've told him this before, like before games, everyone's like in the zone listening to music. like. Yeah. I'm just looking for someone to, like to talk back with me, like, <laughs> like, make a few jokes or something. Or, like, who wants, really? like, is there someone who's not that serious? Like, you can have a chat or anything. Or is really? everyone like focusing? Fun. Yeah. To go back to food, what did you think of the burgers? Wow. Stoked. Yeah. In, dude. I'm halfway. My whole plate's yeah, just yeah, burger. You gotta, you gotta shape up, dude. Yeah. I do have to shape up. Look at the size of this thing. Yeah, it's it's. Everything yeah, show that thing to the camera, dude. It's just like a heap of food. I don't, I don't think it's a burger. Literally, if you're dude, hungry, just eggs, order that. Everything bacon. they have in the kitchen, they do on that. Yeah, they yeah, should yeah. call it the yeah, kitchen yeah. sink. The kitchen sink, yeah. Dude. I should open up a restaurant. Hey, we should start a burger here that's like endorsed by the Stormers, the kitchen the sink. sink. That's Everything. incredible. It comes with loaded fries. You don't even order. Uh-uh. <laughs> it's worked into the meal. Mmm. It's like... Hard to talk through the show and eat a burger this big. Um, I don't think I've had a lamb patty, but it's good. Dude. It's not a lamb. I don't think I've had a lamb, mm, like a like a lamb patty mm. on a burger, but it's good. It's dude, good. lamb's incredible. Eat, eat your leaf. Eat your leaf. Oh, eat, your eat your leaf, bitch. <laughs> eat your leaf. <laughs> what is a temple? Mm. Tam. Temple's a body. But yeah, just that moment of like thanking moms, I think it's important from a masculine male point of view to kind of give mm. that recognition, you know, and kind of kind of show some love. So whoever wants to go first, just a little moment thanking moms, I think would be quite special. Oh, bro. Wait, yeah. Where do I start? Camera. We'll do it in English. Keep it correct. You can go, Afrikaans. No, but the people won't understand. Hopefully. They will. Bruv. And anytime people. we do anything in Afrikaans, everyone's like, Afrikaans! Oh so go Fuck for it if you kids, want. Bro. I'll, I'll, I'll jump in between. Oh, that's fire. I'll, I'll try to do the same. Okay. <laughs> I won't. Everyone laughs. laughs. Thank you for laughing at that. Okay. Um, okay. Hi, Mom. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to say I love you. And uh, thank you for all this with your teken, um, all your understanding, and thank you for all the, what do you call it, advice. Um, Sometimes I know I'm not the easiest person to talk to or give advice to, but um, it's all the off my, and, uh, yeah, but the area next by I live here. 
Sweet. Awesome. I got goosebumps showing that. Thank you, dude. That was very special. Go ahead. <laughs> JJ. Yeah. Message for your mom. Yeah. Um, I think, like, yeah, she's just like the kindest person I've ever known. Um, like, always putting others in front of herself. Um, and that's something I learned a lot from her. And then, but at the same time, like, always learning or like always telling us to remember to put ourselves first mm. but the only reason for that is because you can't help other people if you're burnt out yeah so i feel like that's that's the like that's my mom in a nutshell is just making sure she's at capacity to help other people mm. so it's it's never been about my mom it's been about the family or other people she wants to help um so I feel she's like the most selfless kind of person I've ever met. And they are actually piled feel. Love it, man. See, we never have the chance to say these kind of things. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Evan, thank you for sharing that. Cool. I don't have to do one, do I? <laughs> nah, I do one for mom all the time. Mom, I love you. You know I do. Sorry that I'm so much trouble to deal with all the time. Um, yeah, thank you for spiritually, emotionally, and psychologically leading me through a lot of my life. Um, if it wasn't for you, I would be in a very, very bad place. Um, so I love you. Thank you for being the backbone of the family. Thank you for being the backbone of my career. Thank you for being my safe space. Um, thank you for being the best example of what I would want out of a wife and out of a partner as well. Um, thank you for how you look after Thomas and Emma and after Dad as well. Um, I love you, and I try to be a better man every day to make you proud. Um, so thank you for everything that you mean to me. Um, I love you lots. Um, yeah, now that we're all emotional. Yeah, thank you. That was very special. That's Group hug. Love you guys. Group love you guys. Yay! Look at us. Yay! You guys are very special. Thank you so Group much. Hug. Thank you guys for tuning in. Appreciate it so much. Please stay tuned for the next Don't Tell Mom episode. Thank you, Evan. Thank you, JJ. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Having you has been incredible. Thank you. This, is, this is so much Insane. fun for me. Thank you. Yeah, Very nice. Um, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Tigers Mall Clue Street, mm. especially mm. Tigers Mall Clue Street Clubhouse. This place is incredible. Mm. Book your event, reserve out the venue, have some fun. Bar right here, pool tables, dartboards, the whole shooting match. Thank you for these giant burgers. We're going to spend the rest of the day eating them. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Go tell your family you love them. Go tell your mom you love them. And go tell JJ and Evan that you love them too. <laughs> <laughs> nice.